Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Racing and Races. So we're going to have a look at some of Saturday's racing and we're going to break them down race by race. And we are going to start off with the third race at Cheltenham. I didn't like anything in the first couple, um, but we're going to have a look at the racing uh, racing post, the From the Horse's Mouth podcast, Our Call Challenge Trophy Trial, Novices Chase. Wow, what a long um, title of a, a race. Look forward to the um, commentator saying that. Um, and the horse here that I do like is Mon Morale. Um, does have 219 days off the track to overcome, um, as we can see here. But I think that should be um, something he can overcome. And I think he's a grade one horse. I actually advised him last year uh, for the Arkle at 20 to 1. I said that I just didn't feel um, staying over hurdles was the right uh, decision. And before he, he disappointed at um, Newcastle and did some analysis of the stats and they're better over fences, um, particularly the young horses, the four or five year olds. Um, I almost feel this is a, it's nearly a season too late or is a season too late, but I still think he's going to be very, very good over fences. Um, after disappointing at uh, where was it when he finished fifth? Newcastle in the fighting fifth over hurdles. Um, I think they kind of stepped him up to two and a half mile almost to get to try and get a free win into him, thinking that he would win regardless over two and a half mile. Um, he went to, was it Wing Canton, where he was only fourth, uh, fourth at Fontwell, sorry. And then he he finished second at Aintree, but would have finished third in the grade one had Zana here stood up at the last. Um, of those behind, I, I don't really think you know i know pentland hills he's had he's had a lot of trouble um he won a race last time out which was a walkover he didn't jump a fence so he's still got to jump fences so although it might look like he's got chase experience he actually hasn't um tommy's oscar won a match race but i've never quite rated tommy Os tommy's oscar glory and fortune is a handicapper good handicapper don't get me wrong he's a very good handicapper but he's a handicapper and if he beats those at the top of the ratings here i'd be very disappointed um, with this race in general bambridge yeah not not a big fan of bambridge to be honest and sole presenter and fusain i don't think are going to or fusain definitely isn't I, i'm never a fan of horses like these running in in you know grade two look at his r figures they're just ridiculously low compared to the rest of the field um, on ability and on R figures, we can see that R4 for Mon Morale, um, a 159.8, a very, very good effort, um, a very impressive win. He beat Adagio that day. That was at Aintree. Adagio did kind of prove himself to probably be one of the better four-stroke five-year-olds last season. Um, finishing second at Greatwood Hurdle. He finished second... Uh, where else did he go? I think he then placed twice at. In he didn't place. He finished okay sort of races um, in Grade One events, including the Champion Hurdle. He previously finished second to Goshen. I think that was really good form from Mon Moral. Therefore, the the defeat of Adagio and he beat him so impressively. I really do think Mon Moral is a Grade One horse, um, and I do think we'll see him in the Arkle. And I do think he can start off um, his campaign over fences with a win um, here tomorrow. He is currently, just going to have a look, he's currently 9-4 to four with Tommy's Oscar at 11-4. to four. Pentland Hills is fives. Um, I won't quote the bet 365 prices because if you take them, you will be restricted. Um, Tommy's Oscar is 11-4. Bambridge, you can get you can get 7-2 to two at Corals. It's out of those four, really. I think Mon Morale, as long as he's fit enough, um, I think he takes all the beating here. And I do think he'll be fit enough. And I do actually think he's the proper grade one horse in this race. Whereas I'm not as big a fan on Tommy's Oscar, Bambridge or Pentland Hills being proper grade one horses. So that's who I fancy for the first race or the first race of this group is the 145. And it's Mon Morale at 9-4.